Hey everyone, welcome to this video. So today I'll be showing you guys a few video converters which are completely free and the probably the best ones out there. So let's just get started on the video. I'll be showing you guys a few features which make the converters so popular. So the first one that we have is the free HD video converter. Now this is known for being completely free and also very user friendly they have been making this software for a very long time and got a lot of few basic options like video editing and and downloading videos from the internet you also get to convert or extract the audio from your video so hd video converter factory is loading up the name sometimes say Wonder Fox video converter but in other places you'll see it to be free HD video converter it's different all right so when starting up HD video fa converter factory you get an option to, to either download or convert I'll go with convert and this is the interface it's really simple and like very easy to understand these are the options that you have it to convert these are all like very basic files video format with different frame rates and everything then you can you'd have all those here so all right so let's add a file like a sample file onto the converter and it says it it's not supported but it seems fine all right so i'm gonna select the output location to the desktop i'm gonna convert this to avi let's say for this tutorial here are a few quick settings now you can also go to parameter settings and you can change pretty much all the basic things i'm gonna keep things like the same pretty much I click on ok then there's this option where you can quickly select your formats like you, if you can go over to 1080p but but the current version doesn't support more than 720p if you click on play they have their own video player i'm gonna go over change this to mp4 go over to so apparently this only supports up to 720p so i'm gonna click on run let's see how long it takes but that took a while and the converted file was okay but let's talk about another video converter this one is very popular i'm talking about any video converter the free version if you don't find this anywhere then it'll usually be under freeware if you click on that then this is where it takes you so i'm gonna go and click on all right so this is any video converter i'm gonna add a file change the output location to the desktop and you'll see this cross like scissor option here if you click on this then a small editor comes over now using this you can trim your videos basically can't do mo much than that so i'm gonna click on a starting point and a replay a little bit and click on ending and i'm gonna click on apply okay i think it crashed but it was probably because of the computer that i'm using which is not which does not support high quality files i will be changing the video format to you can see that they have a few options this is for all i'm gonna go over to video only you find a category of common video formats i'm gonna go down to a very basic mp4 editing your video they will make it look like this so all right so i'm gonna click on convert now and the video will start converting it took takes a few seconds because the size is really small this was any video converter you can also burn dvd and play videos like this is like a video player in the settings you can change a few basic things if you have a better cpu then you can 
make things more optimized for your computer all right so the third video converter is also very popular mainly because it's very lightweight and because of its flexibility i'm talking about handbrake which is an open source video transcoder which basically means you can play around with video files like the features are very useful if you like really want to go inside a video like change it pretty much everything options you get options like adding filters to your video to crop in your videos i made a video specifically showing the features of handbrake all right so this is how hand handbrake starts up i'm gonna drag and drop a video here and just as you can preview the videos like that if you go over to presets and general then they have a few options like very fast and like normal fast and super hq as well so the presets are great but the main thing is that even after selecting a preset that you like you can further customize that to pretty much every anything that you want if you go to the video tab and there is a quality control here if you play around with this you'll see how using handbrake you can dramatically reduce the file size of really big like video files so but that will also load the quality a little bit but handbrake does it really well and it's sometimes it's hard to notice the quality difference and yeah you also get a lot of the basic options as you get in other video converters you don't get to edit and trim your videos but but you do get to add subtitles add new tracks if you want to and like in different languages probably so yeah handbrake is really great and it's, it's really flexible actually so which makes it very useful if you like understand all the features all right so those were the free video converters no watermark my personal recommendation is handbrake because of all the options that you get to play around with your video but you might also go for any video converter which is very popular as well download music and videos from over a hundred sites and also burn videos to dvds and also edit your videos with the basic trimmer so if you all if you need all those options then you probably should go with any video conversion handbrake on the other hand is more like a powerful tool for a large video files and like batch converting and stuff so yeah that is like these are all different for different people but the main thing is that they are all completely free to use all right guys thanks all for watching i'll see you guys again in the next video and until then don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day